Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm showing y'all my flawless makeup routine. Let's get into it. So we're starting on a clean face. I'm gonna be starting with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, the e.l.f. All Night Micro Mist Setting Spray, and then the Milk Hydro Grip. So I start off using the e.l.f. Spray just to get my face, I don't know, wet. <laughs> Um, and then I go on with the vitamin enriched face base, which I have really, really, really been loving. And then after that, I go in with the Hydro Grip by Milk. I really, really love this primer. These three together is perfect for my base. So I'm going in with the NYX eyebrow glue. I really like this for my brows. Um, it just, it really does keep them in place since I don't have that many brows or that much brow <laughs> and then i go in with the nyx professional micro brow pencil and the color i use is espresso and i think it matches perfectly with my hair and i just fill them things in i just do um just brow strokes and i take my time with it well I try to take my time with it, but I've been doing this for so long that I just kind of know the routine. Y'all, look at these bags, child. What in the world? So I'm going in with this MAC Studio Fix palette. I think it's Studio Fix Concealer palette. And the color is NC40. And I like to go like three-fourths of, of the way on my brow, not starting at the beginning, but starting like in the middle and then blending that thing out. Look at that, uh-huh. Now NARS mm, is that girl. This is the Natural Longwear Foundation. This is how much I use um, to start off. And y'all finna see this match, please. So I like to use a brush that looks sort of like this. It's dense, but it is long haired. So it just gives me like an airbrushed look. Look at that. Where's the foundation? When you find it, let me know. Look at that. That is so crazy. NARS is really that grow. So the color that I have is Cadiz. And I just have never had a found it. Well, I'm lying. The House Labs um, gives me the same vibe as well. The one that I have just doesn't match me like that anymore. But I also really, really, really love that foundation as well. So I'm just blending that thing out and it just looks like my skin. I, what else can I say? So I actually am going in with a little bit cause I feel like I can see the veins in my face and I ain't really liked it. So <laughs> I went back in with a second layer and as you can see, it's buildable and it's still very flawless. Good job, NARS. Now this concealer has become my main grow. It's the Stay Naked Quickie Concealer by Urban Decay. I like to use this brush. This brush is by Japanesque. And the foundation brush is by Marc Jacobs. I got both of those at TJ Maxx a long time ago. So go look at their brush section. They actually have some really good brushes. Um, but I like to use a brush to um blend out my concealer like on the edges i do leave i do leave like right under the brow a little bit unblended just so that i can have that coverage but i do like to go ahead and blend out the edges so that that's blended when it's time for me to do everything else and we're not looking patchy and you know and this brush is perfect for that it's very dense um but it's angled and it just helps me get that airbrushed look under my brows. So I do the same thing in the middle of my forehead between my brows and I just kind of blend that up and then I go down my nose and I'm just making sure everything is blended. These sections, I don't necessarily leave too much concealer. Um, I like to on my nose just because I know I'm gonna go in with concealer and kind of make all that blend. Um, but everywhere else I'm kind of just like 
blending it for the most part. Now I'm going up this curve case. Now I love this thing. I have the medium one. I'm going in with these three shades to contour and bronze up my skin. I cannot say enough good things about this palette. It blends seamlessly into any foundation that I have on. It does really good with underpainting as well. As you can see, that thing blends right on out. Like, mm, mm, mm. And I leave a little bit of space in between my contour and my, and my concealer um, for my blush. So I always go into this little section. What is that? The brow bone in the inner brown bone. I don't know. Um, to blend out my nose contour. Um, and I like to blend that up into my brows just to give that a seamless look. That's the blush that I'm going in with. And I like to put that under my eyes as well to blend out that concealer. Look at that, seamless. It's seamless. And this is a really natural blush just for an everyday look. That thing's seamless, I don't care. I do not care, that thing is seamless. And then I go back in with this e.l.f. spray while everything is still wet. Um, this Beauty Blender Puff is so, so, so good for under my eyes. I like to make sure I'm looking up in my mirror so that I don't get any creases while I am setting my eyes. This Bobbi Brown, what's this called? Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Press Powder in Neutral. She is that girl. -a. She's that girl. And you finna see. Mm, mm, mm. Look at the difference. What more can I say? Yeah. Mm hmm. This is the product. And she's that girl. I, I highly recommend it. Um, highly recommend it. And I do go ahead in all of my highlighted areas to put this. Um, this is the first of three powders <laughs> that I use to set my under eye concealer areas. Just so that I, because I'm an oily girl and I'm a creasy girl. So I like to make sure all of these things are set. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. So now I'm gonna go in with this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I typically use the Derma Blend um, Illuminating Banana Powder, I think is what it's called, but I cannot find that for the life of me. That is actually my favorite powder. Um, but the Laura does okay. The Laura does okay. Now I'm gonna go in with this Dark Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC just to bronze up and set my bronzer. I love this powder. Um, I think the key to a flawless face is to get very like fine powders to set your face. And this is one of those powders. I just love it. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my nose and my eye area. I like to wing that, that bronzer out to blend it in with the bronzer that I put right there as well. So I'm going in with Fenty Coco Naughty. And she is the perfect... Um, just like a deeper bronzer, contour-y sort of, sort of vibe for me. It just gives definition to my face. I like to go in with this Warrior II Juvia's Place palette with these two colors for my blush, because I don't have any blushes. Is that, ain't that crazy? I have zero blushes. So this works as a blush for me, and it's the perfect everyday color for me. Now I'm just gonna clean up with the same powder puff, I don't have any product on it. I'm just using whatever is on there and it just cleans that up. Now I'm gonna go in with this 24 seven ink and it's a liquid liner by Urban Decay just to define my beauty marks um, that you can't see anymore and then just add some extra ones. Um, the color is whiskey for that one. And then this is the other powder that I like to use to set 
to clean up the powder and then also to set my entire face. So it's the Sephora Micro Smooth powder and the color is 40 tan and I don't know if you can tell but it just smooths everything out Lancome uh, lash it all yeah that girl look at the difference that girl I feel like I don't get a lot of clumping with this mascara either so I love that and now I'm just adding a wing I have been like a cat eye girl I just think that looks so like sexy on me and just i don't know it's a simple way to just elevate an everyday look i really really love just a wing and a cat eye mm, mm, mm. and i'm using that same um brown liner that i used for my beauty mark Now I'm just going in with these kiss lashes. The, the style is Jubilee. And I like these because it's a very natural everyday lash. And um, honestly, it's what I had. <laughs> and, but I like the cat eye that it gives. Look at that, so cute. Now I'm going in with the 24 seven glide on pencil um, in perversion, it's black under my eyes. Um, I have one that's called Whiskey and it's a brown. But I feel like it doesn't really show it. Like that's that's the one I'm gonna use for my lips. I feel like that one doesn't give me the intensity that I like under my eyes. So I like to use it as a lip liner. So I'm only using two products on my lips today, this liner and I'm going to use the Fenty Heat in Hot Cherry. I love this color. It's just a very faint pinkish red color and I'm just going to blend it in with that liner. And then I'm going to set my face again. And yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. So this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment any questions you have below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time.